Hello Zany friends, welcome back to our channel. I am Lainey. Hi, I'm Marshall. Today we're doing uh, kind of a little bit of a different book review. This book was sent to us uh, for review from someone who reached out and said, hey, would you be able to read my book? And we were like, sure, we can do that. Uh, because of the subject matter of the book, though, we will not be giving a star rating to the book. We just feel like we don't want to make uh, diminish the importance mm -hmm. of the subject matter by giving it a rating. So, yeah. I did not read the book, <laughs> but Marshall did. So, take it away. So, the existence of Amy is the story of a girl named Amy. Uh, she is a graphic designer in England who has OCD and depression, and they don't really talk about it much, but social anxiety. And she's trapped. She, she's literally trapped in everything that she's doing. And this has pretty much ruined her life. She can barely do anything outside of go home, go to work, go home, go to work. That's it. Until her co-workers basically force her to go on holiday to Sydney, Australia. And things start to get a little difficult for her there. This is a story that isn't just about living with OCD. Oh boy, do you get the idea of what it's like to live as Amy. Um, the characters, the way that they're written, they, they don't sound like there's people here talking with her. It sounds much more like you're hearing them echo off the back of her head and then kind of get absorbed because so much of the story is told in her thoughts. This is also a story of how to help people who have these conditions because depression is not something that you can just be there for them for. Sometimes you have to force them out of these habits that are spiraling them down. This is a book about the difference between enabling, helping, and trying to help, but really hurting as you have characters throughout this book that are each of those different groups. Mm -hmm. And if you have a friend who has OCD, who has depression, who has social anxiety, I recommend that you read this book. You need to read this book. If you have any of those conditions, this probably would not be a hurtful book for you to read either. Just to, to inspire you maybe to push beyond. I think one of the things I do want to bring up, uh, just from the viewpoint of watching him read this book, is this is not a book that you should go into like, oh look, I'm going to read this book and I'm going to totally enjoy this read. No, um, this book is probably going to be a struggle for you to read because of how it is written. But the way that it is written, I, I feel like he, the way he was describing it to me was intentional so that you could really get into the mind of Amy and again that's why we're not really giving it a star review because I don't know that you can really rate a book like this because of the subject matter and what it's trying to do. Exactly um, because yeah did I find it entertaining that's not what this was about. This is about helping and it was custom built for and I think mm -hmm. that's what um, what you should take it up as. Uh, we'll leave the information down below if you are interested in uh, checking this book out. You know, I think it's just a really important book for for people who have people in their life that are dealing with these things. I think it's something that maybe you should uh, get a little bit more insight about, and this would be a good way to do it. I think. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay tuned. Bye.